guys, Nana Reef Freak here. So today I want to talk about fish chasing the glass. So I'll put a clip of this up here in the corner, that way you can see what I'm talking about. I had never, well, okay, I've experienced this before, but I never really knew what it meant. I kind of just assumed that like the fish was freaking out and it's chasing the glass and being crazy, so whatever. Fish chasing the glass though is a serious sign of stress, which makes a lot of sense. This clown fish I have in here, you know, his, her name, whatever, is Mocha. And Mocha gets stressed a lot. Hey you, I see you over there. Mocha is very temperamental. Uh, Mocha will only eat during certain parts of the day. We found it out that if you feed her during the normal hours of this light being on, she will eat every time. If you feed her anything outside of those hours, she won't even touch it. Like if you come in here after the light's been off for 40 minutes and you know the lights in the living room are still on and the fish is still awake and you turn the light on and you try and feed her, nope, doesn't even want the food, doesn't even care. So fish chasing the glass syndrome, where this comes into play, is the fish gets really stressed and starts chasing the glass, and that's a sign that they're not going to eat, that they're really stressed out, uh, they're not having a good time, and that you should just turn the lights off, you know, let them calm down, and then feed them when they're relaxed again. So what happened in my instance, how I got this video of my fish chasing the glass, I came home late one time, uh, you know, I hadn't been here all day, so I came home late and I was like, oh, I need to feed my fish. It's been like two days since I fed my clown fish because I was gone for a while. So I turned on this light, the fish was swimming around and kind of acting kind of normal. And then like, I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna go these all some food. And I come back and she's just like swimming across the glass at like a million miles an hour, like back and forth, back and forth, back in front, all, just going crazy and like swimming super fast. And I'm like, whoa, like that is unnatural. Um, but she had been eating all the time. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna feed her. Like she's gonna eat the food, like it'll be fine, you know? And I dumped the food in and she didn't eat any of it. <laughs> now I gotta do, you know, water change probably because there's a bunch of food in the tank that's maybe not being eaten. Like is my cleanup crew good enough? Is the filtration good enough? All of that whole nine yards. So when the fish is chasing the glass, what I would recommend to get to fix this, because there has to be a, a resolution, a solution, right? The first thing to do, check your water parameters. If your water is testing like crap, you got to do a water change. If you got a lot of ammonia, you got a lot of nitrite, nitrate, all that kind of stuff, do a water change. If you've recently done a water change, then maybe just consider doing a water change a little more closely. Like you got to, you can't do a water change and then two days later do another water change or you'll remove all the bacteria and good stuff in your tank. So just be really careful doing water changes too close together. First thing I would do though is just test water, consider a water change. The next thing to do is use some kind of conditioner. If you guys haven't seen my Seachem uh, Prime slash Paragard video, uh, you guys should go up there and watch it. It's on my channel. Um, Prime is just a great water conditioner. Use a water conditioner to, you know, the, the water conditioner will detoxify the water if there's any kind of toxins like ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, all that kind of stuff, assuming you're using a good water conditioner like Prime where it does that function. Um, a water conditioner is going to help improve their slime coat. It's going to help reduce the fish stress. It's just going to make their lives a lot easier. So put in some kind of water conditioner to help your fish out. Uh, once the water conditioner is in there, turn off the lights. Keep the lights off, let the fish calm down. Just give it a day, the fish will be fine. You know what I'm saying? They can go another day without eating if because if they're too stressed, they're not gonna eat anyways. So what I would recommend when fish chase the glass, water change if applicable. You know, if your water is really bad or whatever, uh, maybe it's been a really long time and that's why the fish are freaking out because the ammonia is high, who knows? Uh, but consider water change, water conditioner next, because water conditioner can help de-stress them. And then turn off the lights, give them a day of just calmness. Just give them a day of lights off, relax in the tank, swim around, do my little fish life, whatever the fish are gonna do. Um, and once you give them like a day with no light and they're just calm, they've been chilling out, the water conditioner has been working its way in there, they're relaxed, the light turns on, leave it on for a couple hours, then try feeding your fish. If they eat, you're good. And then just monitor your tank, keep an eye on your water and try not to disrupt the natural light cycle of the aquarium. So as I have learned, um, I've had plenty of clownfish in the past. They've never cared when I turn the light on. My, uh, my Oscillaris clowns I had back in the day, I could turn the light on, feed them whenever. They didn't even care. This one, very, very temperamental. Mocha is very picky. So, do not, uh, do, the moral of this lesson is do not, do not interfere with the natural light cycle of your aquarium. If this light comes on at every, uh, at 8 a.m. every morning and turns off at 4 p.m. every, every day, uh, just feed them in that hour. And if they don't eat in that hour, just feed them the next day, it'll be all right. Um, but yeah, so that's my experience with fish chasing the glass, guys. I uh, you know, hope you all enjoyed it. I appreciate your view. 
Uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, click that dislike button twice. And thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you have a great weekend, all right?